Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Salmi is my name. If it's your first time here, please make sure that you subscribe and you hit the notification bell. And if you are my returning subscriber, thank you so so much for your support towards this channel. I love you and God bless you. Today I'm going to speak to you about the special and one of the most pathways that you can move to Canada as a permanent residence holder. So that means that when you move to Canada, you'll be able to work as many hours you want. You'll be able to live in any province, in any area of Canada as you wish. And you, you can even uh, study uh, on uh, uh, domestic fees. That means that you get all the benefits that the Canadians are getting. And uh, as some uh, uh, criteria that the government look at, for you to, for them to decide that you qualify for this uh, program i'm actually going to take you through the 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 criteria that the government look at and how they give points for this uh for this program and you need to score 67 points okay you need to score 67 points for you to qualify to enter into a pool of this program okay so i'm going to take you to the uh government of canada website and um, disclaimer i am not an immigration agent or an immigration lawyer so all the information that i'm going to give it's according to my own research and you are welcome to make your own research okay so all the information that i give here i take them from the government of canada website and without wasting time i'm going to take you to government of canada website so that we see if you qualify for this program because for you to enter this program you need 67 points okay so now i'm going to take through how they calculate these points what are the criteria that they look at so that you see if, if this is your pathway okay so um i'm going to take you to the website so impressive ranking system criteria for express entry okay um so what they look at is um this is a summary of the maximum points per factors for express entry candidates so these are the criteria that they look at and how they give points okay for you to qualify for this uh, uh, program so they give points according to your age according to your level of education so for your age you can get anything from 100 to 110 maximum okay if if you are single if you have a spouse you can get up to 100 for up to 100 points and if you are single without a spouse or a common law partner you can get up to 110 points and um, and for your level of education you can get up to the maximum of 140 if you have a spouse and you can get up to 150 without a spouse and for your english official language proficiency it can be it can be english or french so you can get up to maximum of 150 if you are with a spouse and 160 if you are without a spouse and for canadian work experience if you have canadian work experience you can get up to maximum of nine of 70 if you are with a spouse and up to maximum of 80 if you are without a spouse so so that means that if you are single you are likely to get more points okay you are likely to get more maximum points than the person with a spouse yeah so they also look at um, you can also get some points from your spouse and there are factors that they look at for the level of education from your spouse you can get up to 10 points and for the official language of your uh of your spouse you can get 20 points for canadian experience if your your spouse have canadian experience you can get 10 points okay and um for education with good strong official language and a postgraduate degree you can get up to 50 points and with canadian experience and a postgraduate a, a post secondary degree you can get up to 50 points that's for your education and for your foreign work experience if you have work experience from your 
uh, home country you can get also points for that one and uh, you can get up to 50 50 points with your foreign work experience plus your official language proficiency and with canadian work experience if you have canadian work experience and you add also your foreign experience you can also get up to 50 points and um, there are a lot of points there are a lot of things that you have they look at and this is a certificate of qualification okay with good and strong uh language proficiency so if your um if you are your your language official language proficiency you can also get uh, 50 points okay so there are also points that you can get if you have a brother or a sister living in canada you can get up to maximum of 15 points from them and if you have french language skills you can get 50 from that from, from for your language and if you have a post-secondary education in canada you can also get 30 points and if you have arranged employment if you have a job offer or um uh, yeah if you have a job offer you can get also up to 200 points and uh, you can also get up to 600 points if you are nominated by a professional nomination okay so you can also get 600 points so uh we are just busy looking at how they give points how you can qualify for this but before you calculate these points you must make sure before you enter the 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 express entry pool you need to make sure that you have 67 points if you have lower than 67 points then you cannot lower you cannot enter this uh this program you cannot go through this program and then at the age if you are too young then 20 points you get a little bit lower points and if you are from 20 points to 29 points you see that you get high points okay if you are less than 18 years you get zero points for that and if you are 18 years of age you get 90 points if you are with a spouse and you get 99 points if you without a spouse and 19 years of age you get 95 points with a spouse and 105 points without a spouse uh if you are 29 years of age you get 100 points to 110 points without the spouse if you are between 20 and 29 then you get the maximum point okay because that time you are in your youth and you are energetic you are creative and that's what they want like now they want people who are energetic who are creative and when you are a youth between 20 to 29 years of age you get maximum you get the highest points the older you get the the less the points become so you want to do this while you are still young because the longer you wait and the longer you age the less points you get for for this program so from 30 years you get 95 95 points and if you are with a spouse and 105 points if you are without a spouse so that means again here that uh, if you are with a spouse you are likely to get less points than without a uh, when you are without a spouse you are likely to get more points when you are single okay um when you are 30 31 you get 90 points with a with a spouse and 99 points without a spouse 32 you get 85 with a spouse and 80 94 without a spouse 33 as and the list is becoming less the points are becoming less as the age is, the age are, the ages are increasing so you see that even at 37 when we are 37 you only get 60 with a spouse and 66 without a spouse when you get 40 you get 45 and 50 without a spouse so the longer you wait to end for you to enter in this program the the lesser points you will get so the level of education less than secondary school or high school if you don't have high school then you get zero for that point so and if you have one year degree or diploma or certificate from a university college trade or technical school or other institutes you get 84 points without with a spouse and 90 points without a spouse 
a spouse so for the level of education you get get up to 140 points maximum with a spouse and you can get up to 150 points without a spouse so the higher your qualification the more points that you get you can see that from a secondary high school or high school you get 28 but a person with a doctorate with a PhD, they get 140 uh, with a spouse and 150 without a spouse. And for the official language, if you have the CLB9, you get 29 points with a spouse and 31 points without a spouse. And yeah, and for Canadian experience, if you have less than none or less than a year, you get zero, the zero 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 points for this one but if you have one year experience you get for 35 35 with with a spouse and 40 without a spouse but if you have five years or more experience you get 70 uh without a spouse with a spouse and 80 points without a spouse and it's a lot of criteria that you look at that they look at for your spouse or common law partners level of education so if you are with a partner you can also get some points from his level of education if you have a, a, a second if you have a high school you get two points if you have a, a phd you get 10 points from him so um it's quite you get points also from your spouse okay and or canadian experience you get if you have five years of canadian experience then you get uh, uh if you have one year of canadian experience you get five points if you have five years or more you get 10 points for canadian experience and um, um with with canadian work experience and postgraduate degree so if you have the canadian work experience with another degree then you have you get more points again and this is just a and if you have years of uh, foreign work experience if you have one or two years foreign experience you get 13 with a spouse and 25 without a spouse and if you get three years or more you have 25 and 25 with a spouse and 20 and 50 without a spouse and uh, foreign work experience with canadian experience so if you come from your home country with your experience and you go to canada for one year and two years and you get the uh, Canadian work experience it's also more you also get more points and yeah I want to go to our uh, uh, I want us to go to a calculator so that we can uh, uh, calculate uh, roughly how much if we uh, yeah, how, how much we can get if we just put rough um, um, rough um, points okay so I'm going to the calculator uh, and just try if you can qualify you can also go to the uh, government of canada website you can go to government of canada website and just try if you can uh, um if you can and and try to calculate if you'll be able to qualify and uh, this tool will help you to calculate your crs course based on the answer you provide below the crs is a point based system that we use to access and score your profile and rank it in the express entry pool it's used to access your skills your education your language ability your work experience and other factors so we are going to do a rough calculation and uh, uh, just see how uh, exactly they the they, they calculate and with this information that i'm going to put here it's not accurate information i'm just going to put the referee figures just so that we have a better understanding of, of how these points are calculated so uh, number one question is what is your marital status let's say i'm married okay then is your spouse or common law partner a citizen or a permanent resident of canada then we say no because i'm just in my home country and my spouse is also from my home country so um i choose no will your spouse or common law partner come with you to canada and i say of course i want to come with my uh, with my spouse um how old are you let's say maybe okay um maybe okay it's saying if you have been invited to apply enter your age or on the dates 
you were invited okay no i'm not invited yet so let me just put just roughly uh, yes okay let me say 34 years of age and what is your level of education uh-huh um level of education then i come here then i say secondary school no okay let me say a one-year program at a university or college or you can choose two years program at university or trade or technical school two years of certificate master's degree or phd let me just say one year program okay um then i say have you earned a canadian degree or diploma or certificate then i'll say nope because i i studied just in my home country and i i didn't study in canada so it's a no um official language official languages canada official language are english or french so you need to submit the language test results that are less than two years for all programs under express entry even if your english or french is your first language are you are your test results less than two years let me say yes okay which language test did you take for your first official language let's say i took ielts okay and then i should enter your scores so let's say just roughly okay this are not accurate figures i'm just just i'm just putting rough numbers just for us to see how it's calculated let's say maybe i got speaking band seven listening i got eight reading i got 6.5 and the writing i got seven okay do you have other language results so if you if so which language test did you take for your second official language maybe if you have english and you 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 took another language like french maybe if you speak english and french you can take both and you get maximum points or you can only if you only did one then you said not applicable because i don't know french i only speak english so i only did english language so it's not applicable work experience in the last 10 years how many years of skilled work experience in canada do you have then i'll say okay le let's read what they are saying it must have been paid and full-time or equal amounting part-time so for you to qualify for this one okay for the for this work experience it must be full-time not uh, or if it's part-time then you should have hours hours equal to part-time uh, up to full-time hours okay so it must be paid and full-time okay not not volunteer work or whatever so it should be if you aren't sure of the knock level for this job you can find your knock codes so you must also so if you are looking forward to moving to canada you need to make this uh canada.ca website your your friend because all the information is there you need to know this no codes and you need to know the knock of your the no code of your field and stuff so you must you must make that one your friend so i have let's say five years experience i have more than five years experience in my home in my home country and in the last 10 years how many total years of foreign work experience do you have oh okay so this one was a canadian experience okay so let me say none because i'm not in canada yet i'm just in my home country so here i put none and here it's now where my work experience the home the the foreign work experience so this is the experience that i obtained from my home country so let's say three or more yes i got three or more yes experience in my home country do you have a certificate of qualification from a, a canadian province territory or federal body so this is a um a certificate of qualification from canadian province then you say no i don't have any 
Additional points. Do you have a valid job offer supported by a labor market impact assessment if needed? Then you say, no, I don't have any job offer. So this is if you, um, now you, you maybe you applied for a job in, uh, in Canada and your, your employer gave you that certificate and that employer, because when you apply for a job in Canada, you don't just apply from any employer. It won't qualify for this. The, the, the employer should have an LMIA okay uh, so this I'll, I'll talk about it in the, my next video so you just watch out for this and yeah so i don't have any job offer and do you have a nomination certificate from my province or territory then you say no this one i'll also talk about it in the next video so you must watch out for the next video what is a nomination certificate from provinces and so you must watch out for that one so um do you or your spouse or common law partner if they will come with you to canada have at least one brother or sister living in canada who is a citizen or permanent resident so that's why they are now asking if you have uh, a sister or your spouse have a sister or a brother any relative in canada so this is where you and for them to be considered as a, a sister it should be a blood biological sister adoption or marriage or marriage step brother or step sister so it should be that not extended family maybe it's your cousin and you say um i have a sister that won't work here so you say it's no i don't have any and um, what is the highest level of education of which your spouse or common law partner has so they are asking now for your for your partner's education what is your highest education your partner's highest education and you come here and you say maybe you have also just a secondary school okay maybe you have just a secondary school but if you have maybe more masters or phd then you get more points for that but for now just rough let's say you only have secondary school okay in the last 10 years how many years of skilled work experience in canada does your spouse or common law have so this is now how many years of skilled work experience so my spouse have never worked in canada we are all in our home country now and we are just mm, or oh, the only experience that we have is in our uh, in our home country so we say none or less than a year did your spouse or common law partner take a language test if so which one let's say maybe your your partner have taken a language test or maybe english or french then you can also get points for that if not then you say not applicable okay then we calculate our scores so when you calculate our scores this is now how they rated us remember at the age what age we put there i think it was 34 years old so we put we got 75 the level of education and official language this is now the the, the main applicant and then these are the um points that i got from the spouse only two points from the level of education official language he didn't do so we got zero canadian experience we got zero and uh, uh yeah this is the official language proficiency canada experience zero foreign work experience 50 points maximum so we got 25 out of 50 uh, uh, uh total skill transfer oh these are now the 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 ones that we got from the from the spouse i think so it's 38 points total of 36 points so additional points that you can get many maximum of 60 points maybe from a professional nomination so it was zero because we didn't have any professional nomination we didn't have any job over so it's a zero we haven't studied in canada so we got zero sibling in canada we got zero because we didn't have any french language skills we got zero so subtotal additional points we got zero so our total our total scores it's 308 okay it's 308 so according to the information that we got we we have 
308 scores so this course does not automatically qualify you to, to get selected from the pool it depends now on what is the cutoff what is the cutoff points for that season let's say maybe uh, uh, when the government of canada decides that okay with this express entry draw our cutoff point will be 400 points okay so if the cutoff score for that time it's 400 scores then you still don't qualify you still you will remain in the pool so you will not be selected but if let's say the cutoff score for that season it's 300 square it's, it's 300 points so if the cutoff score for that season is 300 it's it's 300 points then you qualify and you might be selected from the pool and invited to apply for your permanent residence when you get the permanent residence you go with your whole family your children your husband and when you get to canada you can do whatever you want because you are a, you are more like you you are entitled to all the benefits that they the canadians are getting so when you decide to go there and study you study your your tuition fees will be cheaper because you'll be you'll be you'll be paying the domestic tuition fees okay and you can you can live in any province in any area in canada that you wish you can do business you can uh, uh, buy a house you can do anything and your children will be studying for free and that's why a lot of us a lot of people are going to these countries because of their children they are preparing for their children's lives because especially now like in a lot of countries the economy is not good and the opportunities are not good they um there are no work and stuff and you just want to do this for your children okay you want to make sure that your children get the best education you want to make sure that when your children will finish with their studies they will not struggle to look for work they'll be uh they'll be so when they are settled in canada there are a lot of opportunities and uh that's it so thank you so much that's all for today and uh, please make sure that you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet so god bless you and i'll see you in the next video so bye bye